the new Subaru is not a cheap pleasure. Therefore, many, remembering that reliability is one of the virtues of the brand, prefer the secondary market. Let's see what misfortunes await them here. It is worth recognizing that many Subaru buyers remain loyal to this brand for a long time. This, of course, has a purely practical explanation. We decided to look for him using the example of the third-generation Subaru Forester crossover, produced from 2008 to 2012. Japanese-made cars are respected in Ukraine, as evidenced by prices in the secondary market. They are built so as not to lose face later. This is the basis of Japanese philosophy of life. Surely the Japanese are not ashamed of the Forester, which by the third generation has finally grown from an all-terrain wagon into a typical medium crossover. In 2011, there was a restyling, to which a serious modernization of power units was timed. The crossover is based on an all-wheel drive transmission. The base engine was a 2.0-liter 150-horsepower unit, and the 2.5-liter modification is more powerful by 22 horses. A couple of 2.5-liter turbocharged engines with a capacity of 230 and 263 horsepower were also offered. Mechanics or an automatic machine can be selected with any of the motors, with the exception of the most powerful modification. For her, the machine has no alternative. Even the basic fork was well equipped, climate control, power accessories, security equipment. Without excessive luxury, only the necessary. True, in the top versions, a sunroof, leather interior, power seats with xenon in addition have already appeared. So he was never a beggar. Forrester, rather, was applied, since its ideology implied skilled practicality without luxury. In the conditions of the current turbulences, the Hrivnia gap of the last three rubles with the new car has grown by about 50%. So such a purchase has become only partly more profitable. But what about reliability, you ask? Nothing to scare you. It is no coincidence that the crossover enjoys a reputation as one of the highest quality cars in its class. The body perfectly resists corrosion, the color is stable, and traces of oxidation will tell the buyer about the accident that took place. Electrical problems are also rare here. The device of the car does not imply overly complex and buggy nodes, so failures are extremely rare, and for the most part they are associated with the installation of additional electrical equipment. The scheme of all-wheel drive transmission for various modifications is different. In the presence of an automatic transmission, the torque between the axles is distributed by an electronically controlled clutch, and versions with a manual gearbox are distinguished by symmetrical all-wheel drive. At the same time, the combination of the base motor and the manual gearbox can even boast of a lowering row. The servicemen have no complaints about the Rosdatka or the differentials, as there are none for both gearboxes. A completely killed AKP will still have to be looked for. The four-speed automatic is extremely simple, and the mechanics even more so. The clutch here sometimes takes care of more than 150,000 kilometers and is changed as a set. Often a flywheel is added to them. Speaking of engines, techies advise looking at atmospheric versions after restyling in 2011. They have become easier to maintain, although, in addition to increased oil consumption and minor troubles with catalytic converters, which can fail on any engine up to 100,000 kilometers, the craftsman could not make serious claims to pre-styling engines. Thus, the answer to the question of whether it is worth contacting the third Forester is obvious. Of course it's worth it. He has an enviable driving talent both on asphalt and off-road. At the same time, it is reliable and surprisingly strong even with runs in the region of 200,000 kilometers. We recommend a post-styled version with a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated engine with a manual gearbox. In our opinion, this is the best option. However, it should be remembered that Subaru is a specific brand. The cost of some of its original components may seem at least inhumane. In addition, not all details here can be changed to non-original counterparts. Body. There are few negative reviews about the body. There are some complaints about its rigidity. More questions for the salon. Many are not satisfied not only with the quality of the plastic, but also with the fabric of the seat upholstery. With intensive use, it is wiped already by 50,000 kilometers. Crickets are hiding in the cabin. The sound insulation is not up to par, and the front seats sometimes hang out. Transmission. If any childhood diseases are not noticed in both transmissions, then this does not at all eliminate the need to maintain the proper level of lubrication. To do this, you should constantly monitor the condition of the oil seals, 
but the most important thing is to change the oil in the gearbox every 60,000 kilometers, regardless of its type, and in both differentials. Engine. The end of the life of the catalytic converter is a serious problem. Another problem is oil consumption. For engines equipped with the turbine, a consumption of 0.5 liters per 1,000 kilometers is considered the norm and is not a reason for an immediate visit to the service station. Therefore, a canister with an additive in the trunk, alas, is a prerequisite. Suspension. The suspension cannot be called original, McPherson struts at the front and a multi-link at the rear. The front shock absorbers need to be replaced by 100,000 kilometers. The rear ones are more difficult. They are with the swap system, which is why they are very expensive, but they live the same amount. The stabilizer struts need to be replaced by 70,000 kilometers, but the weakest link is the front wheel bearings. Change with the frequency of 30,000 kilometers, almost every MOT, but you can't find fault with the levers and anthers. These parts can take care of 150,000 kilometers or more. Pros and cons. Plus versatile car with car-like handling and true off-road capability. Four-wheel drive with lower road, high ground clearance, roomy interior. High cost of new and used cars, high cost of spare parts. Not the easiest car to maintain, requiring in many cases the use of only original components.